Now let's take a look at the photo interrupter, especially its characteristics, applications, and we'll also consider an interface circuit. Here's the photo interrupter that's included in the MyRio starter kit. This is a device manufactured by Sharp. On the side here, you'll see a portion of the full part number. Now this is called a photo interrupter. That means there's an optical light path that's established between the emitter and the detector. The emitter is an infrared LED, and it means you won't actually see anything. But the detector is also sensitive to infrared radiation, and it detects whether or not the optical path is blocked. Now, the photo interrupter also is referred to as a photo gate. Let's take a look at some characteristics of this particular device. The emitter LED has a forward drop of approximately 1.2 volts, provided you have about 10 to 20 milliamps of current flowing through it. That optical path then is picked up by the optical sensor on the other side. Sensor output is amplified, passed through a Schmidt trigger, and then it operates this NPN transistor right here. The output is pulled low when the optical path is blocked. The recommended supply voltage is 4.5 to 17 volts. Taking a look at the pinout for this device, as viewed from the top, we have the anode and the cathode appearing on this side. You'll note that pin 1 is the shorter lead, that's the anode. These three leads are associated with our power supply, ground, and output. There's a number of applications for photo interrupters. We can count events or we can count objects as they pass through the photo interrupter. We could take timing measurements and calculate speed or if we were using rotational motion we could set up a tachometer with this device. For linear speed measurements or position measurements we can use a picket fence and this is a strip of plastic material that has alternating opaque and transparent zones. The opaque zone would block the photo interrupter, giving us a low output, while the transparent zone gives us a high output. You can then measure the difference between pulses and translate that into speed. For a tachometer or rotational motion, you could use a wheel that has either a tab or a gap and then spin that in between the photo interrupter, emitter, and detector, or you could use a spoked wheel. Now let's consider some techniques to interface this photo interrupter to the MyRio. The minimum supply voltage is 4.5 volts. That means we need to use the MyRio plus 5 volt supply. I'll assume that we're using the same 5 volt supply to bias the current through that infrared LED. This current limiting resistor sets the current through the diode. We have approximately 1.2 volts forward drop. Here's the current through the LED, which is the same as the resistor current. The voltage across the resistor is 5 minus 1.2 divided by the resistance. And that equals the current. I'm going to interchange the position of I and R to solve for the desired resistance for a given current. We'll go with 10 milliamps here. We find that the ideal value is 380 ohms. Now let's consider some nearby standard resistor values. Here's a number of different values. I took some measurements of my own and came up with these currents. 380 is closest to 330 and that gives us 11.7 milli milliamps at the low end of the recommended current. I also learned that you can go a little bit lower if you like. That value also worked fine. You can connect the output directly to either the MXP or MSP digital inputs because they are both 5 volt tolerant inputs.